as isolation measures increase and countries around the world place their citizens into total lockdown, a very peculiar thing is taking place without us realizing. The situation is actually making the world more inclined towards a Muslim way of life, and you don't have to look far to see how. People around the world are spending more time with their families. Pubs, clubs and casinos are now officially closed. In certain countries, alcohol has been banned. People are washing their hands more regularly and suddenly it's becoming socially acceptable not to shake hands. This is quite significant considering Muslims have long struggled with explaining why we don't shake hands with the opposite gender. On the economic front, we've also seen interest rates reduced to zero, a clear win for Islamic finance. The President of the United States has held a national day of prayer and people have begun shifting their hope towards a higher power. And while yes, the virus at first led some people into a wild frenzy of greed and selfishness, the chaos has slowly given rise to communal spirit of giving and charity. We've also seen a new wave of gratitude flooding communities, particularly with the amount of respect and appreciation shown towards health personnel, doctors and nurses, men and women who truly deserve respect. I make a notable mention of the first four doctors in the UK to succumb to the disease while fighting on the front lines, all of whom were Muslim. We also make a mention of our sister Arima Nasreen, a Muslim nurse in UK, who also sadly passed away after fighting the disease. May Allah have mercy on them all and grant them paradise. Yet what's really strange right now is the interesting stance many countries now have towards a face covering. Countries like France, Austria, Denmark, Norway and the Netherlands who have long been at odds with the Islamic face covering, even in some instances banning it altogether, are now embracing the cloth without hesitation. In fact, some of these countries have made such a dramatic transition that they've even enforced the covering by law. This means that the same cloth, which would have once left you with a hefty fine for being worn, will now leave you with a hefty fine for not being worn. If that isn't enough, we're actually seeing face coverings being paraded in French fashion shows. To make matters even more interesting, Donald Trump himself has even jumped on the bandwagon, not only encouraging the face coverings, but hijabs as well. A lot of people have scarves, and you can use a scarf. Scarf would be very good. So you can use scarves, you can use something else over your face. It doesn't have to be a mask. Could it be that everyone has now had a change of heart? Or have they too been inspired by the Muslim way of life? We sure pray that this tragic virus comes to an end soon and we can all get on with our lives once again as normal. And we sincerely pray that Allah alleviates the suffering around the world caused by this disease. But until then, I'm sure it's left us with a lot to think about. If you enjoyed this video and other content One Path Network produces, please visit OnePathNetwork.com. For as little as a dollar a day, you can help in spreading beneficial content across the globe. Thanks for your support, guys.